Cooper and Cassius uh, here at the MGM Grand with Glenn Tapia. Glenn showed us some uh, signs of blistering hand speed there in the workout. Just a, a bit of a taste ahead of a uh, Saturday night. Yeah, a little bit. I just don't want to. I feel. I feel like um, a lot of fighters don't don't give too much. They 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 really slack off a little bit in the um in the um in the media workout. But why not, man? Why not give you guys a yeah. little bit? You know. I'm not going to do a sec back and ask you to do it on camera. Don't worry. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. It's cool. Um, what does a, a win over someone like David Lemieux do for your career? Um, it's amazing. It will take my career to another level. Not just, not just, um, not just win this fight, but but looking good winning this fight. You know, and, and showing people what what I could do in, in that ring. I know it, it could just skyrocket my career, and I know I know I know what's on the table, so I'm, I'm gonna do it. Obviously, he's making his return to the ring after his defeat to Golovkin back in October in New York. Uh, are you taking anything from that Golovkin fight? Or I just heard you say there that that's Golovkin. So yeah, yeah it's Golovkin. It's really you can't really take. The, um, okay, everybody at Golovkin fight, he makes it look bad, you know. So I don't judge him from that fight too much. I judge him for the ones that he did win, you know. When he won these other fights. He um he open. I see little things that he does that 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 when he wins, when he look at his best, is um he's, he does, you know. So. That's what I take for, for Golovkin. I really don't look at it. That's, that's a, um, he should not be ashamed for losing against Golovkin. Is he pound for pound the best fighter on the planet at the moment? Never know, man. You um you got to fight better. A lot of people to, to be pound for pound the best. But he is great. He has great talent. Great talent. But you like I said, you got to um have other people um that you beat that are great too to be called pound for pound. And I feel like he doesn't didn't do that too much. Yeah. Just finally, obviously, uh, Canelo Khan he headlines. Uh, at the team of our arena. What's your thoughts on this fight and who wins it for you? Oh, for Canelo Khan? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't really know. You know, but I am of course I'm leaning more to um Canelo. He has more um advantages in this fight. But again, man, this is boxing, you never know what could happen. Um um, can, um Khan could come up and just be really fast and just box him and it looks so good in this fight. You never know what could happen, man. He, um, um, Canelo kind of showed that he has problem with speed, so let's see what, what happens if Khan just boxes, you know. But again, you know, he is a, a smaller, um, a smaller guy coming up in weight, so it's gonna be kind of hard. Either way, it's gonna be a great night at the yes, team. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, man. Um, he's doing. I respect Khan so much, man. Look what he's doing. You know, he's going up in weight. People won't do this. People in his in, in Canelo weight class don't fight Canelo. You know, and he's going up in weight and fighting um, um, Canelo, one of the strongest punches. I've got to respect a man like that. You, I don't know how the haters talk so bad about him. Like you got to respect the man that, that that has the biggest enough balls to do this. What he's doing, you know, he's a he's a man. He's a real man, and I respect him to the team. Some good words. All right, Glenn's happy. Thanks for talking to uh, IFL TV. Best of luck ahead of uh, your fight with Lemieux on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very it. much. Thank you.